Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing an unboxing and first look on the newly released Kleto Reyes Hero Double Loop Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing an unboxing and first look on the newly released Cleto Reyes Hero Double Loop Boxing Gloves. These retail for $235 on the Reyes website. I got mine in the copper colorway, 16 ounces. You can also get these in 12 or 14 ounces and they come in an Oxford gray as well as a pearl white colorway. So let's go ahead and open up this box and take a look at the gloves. Now what's really cool about Reyes is Recently, they really started to be more innovative and come out with different models of, of boxing gloves. You know, it wasn't too long ago that I felt, you know, Reyes just had their, their standard training gloves that had latex foam in both a Velcro and a lace-up lace -up format. And then they had their Pro Fight gloves and that was really it. And then throughout the years, they really started to, to come out with newer models. They have their Safe Tech Pro Fight gloves. Uh, they have their extra padding gloves. Um, they have their hybrid gloves that have uh, both a lace-up and a Velcro closure that's integrated into the glove. So you're seeing uh, more innovation with those gloves uh, than you typically would in the past. And I feel like Reyes is one of those companies that they like to stick to their original formula, which made them successful to begin with. Uh, but you're, what you're starting to see now is there's more boxing equipment companies there than there's ever been in the past. And that's really pushing companies to be much more competitive and just much more innovative in the way they approach the boxing equipment industry. So um, then you saw then you saw Reyes come out with their high precision gloves, um, and now they have these Hero double loop gloves, which uh, are really interesting looking. I'm I'm, I'm excited to open these box this box with you and take a look at them. But what really what really stuck out to me with these gloves is how Reyes basically described it as being a little bit more of a a lightweight um, with a shorter cuff glove and more. Uh, ergonomic for the hand and I know uh, a lot of people have kind of a love-hate relationship when it comes to Reyes gloves or just Mexican gloves in, in general in terms of like how the thumb feels and the hand compartment is uncomfortable so I'm, I'm hoping that Reyes has really made a, a very comfortable glove in that regard because again it's been a love-hate relationship some people love the way Reyes feel and some people hate the way they feel and, and say that there's a, this break-in period the thumb feels weird and it's just an uncomfortable glove. So uh, let's go ahead and see how these uh, end up being compared to the other previous models. So uh, opening the box up, um, you do have just the invoice paper and the gloves are on the inside. You can see it has that beautiful copper color uh, with the um, that silver or gray uh, straps uh, wrapped up in plastic like all authentic Reyes gear is. So we have that and we'll throw the knife inside. So there, there's the copper, and then you have that Reyes uh, sticker that's attached to the, the wrap. So let's go ahead and cut this open. And just to show you guys, it's basically just, just the invoice, and there's nothing else in this box. So this, you know, Reyes doesn't include any special bag or anything like that that comes with this. It's just the plastic gloves, and uh, that's it, really. So let's go ahead and open that. And get the gloves out. Now what I'm hoping here is that Reyes didn't just kind of redo their training gloves and just add a double strap. I'm hoping that they actually took it a step further and redesigned the actual hand compartment. So uh, first things first, it does have that nice beautiful Reyes uh, genuine leather that you see right there. I'll start off with the left glove and right off the bat it does actually, oh you also have the card, they always put these cards on the inside of the gloves. It does actually feel lighter. So these are labeled as a 16 ounce glove. I'm kind of curious to see when I put these on the scale if they do indeed weigh 16 ounces. So um, the leather on here, it, on here is beautiful. I mean, it's the same kind of leather you see in other Reyes products. Um, it has kind of a satin finish to it. It does have that Cleto Reyes logo on the back of the glove. One thing you notice with this particular logo is that they don't actually have the circle uh, around it. Sometimes you have that circle Reyes logo. You don't have a seam that separates the back of the glove and the thumb, so that is all uh, one piece. 
The foam on here, I'd say, has kind of a medium density to it and it feels like a single piece of latex foam uh, on the inside. And then coming over here, you have that Oxford Gray colorway. So the, there's another colorway that Reyes offers. If you go to the website, that is Oxford Gray. And then the palm side is silver. So essentially this color that you see here on the palm of this glove is gonna be the color on this area of the glove. And then the palm and the straps are gonna be silver, which is a little bit lighter in color. You have ventilated holes on the palm as well as the thumb. Uh, grip bar is a little bit on the smaller side and almost has kind of like a, kind of an edge or a corner to it, if you want to call it. It's not rounded off. It almost has like a point to it when you look at that. And it's a little bit on the smaller side. Not sure how I feel about that. I guess I'll know once I put these on here in a second. And then obviously you have this perforated leather that has a nice texture. This kind of reminds me of like a car seat, a leather car seat. Those the perforations, you have the little those little dimples on the on the leather that you would see like an Alexis. And then the, the dual strap system, the back of the bottom strap has Cleto Reyes and it is a rubberized patch with a black background as well as white <coughs> on top. You have that dual strap system and that Velcro. So essentially they go the opposite direction. You have that big piece of Velcro on top right there and then just the dual strap system. And then you also have a polyester nylon liner on the inside. I'd say the back of the wrist, you're looking at about an inch of soft density foam padding. Uh, the in inside of the wrist, I'd say maybe about three quarters of an inch of padding. And you can see it goes all the way up to right about there and right about here on that side as well. So, you know, close together, right next to each other. Here are the gloves and uh, a really interesting looking glove. So let me go ahead and slide my hand into the glove to see how they feel. Oh, wow. So right off the bat, definitely has in my opinion, from first impressions, a more ha comfortable hand compartment than the other Reyes gloves I've used. Uh, one thing that's noticeable is how deep the finger compartment is. Um, I can definitely feel the grip bar there, although I wish it was a little bit larger. It feels like it's a little bit small and it's the same for the right glove as well. You can see that it has kind of a smaller grip bar. So I wish that grip bar was a little bit bigger. So I feel like I'm really kind of grabbing onto something. Um, but you also have that attached thumb. Don't want to forget to show you guys that but definitely a nice deep finger compartment um, and it has like a little neoprene patch. You do feel the stitching uh, where the, the seam is right here. So it would have been nice again if they covered that with some felt or maybe a piece of memory foam. Uh, and you can see that it has a little bit of stiffness right off the bat. So it's gonna take a little while to break these gloves in, but like any other of these latex style gloves, the more you use these, especially for sparring, using them on the heavy bag, it'll really soften that padding up. And then over time, eventually this will be a nicely soft broken in glove. Next thing is going to be the thumb. I think that's going to be the area where a lot of people uh, have the most discomfort, especially when it comes to Ray's gloves. Um, so far, this one feels pretty good. Um, it doesn't feel overly tight right here where the seam is at. Although when I wear hand wraps, that's going to be really the deciding factor. Um, and then I'll do my review on that. But it feels pretty comfortable overall as well as the thumb. So or the palm, excuse me. So that feels really good. The depth of the thumb feels good as well. It doesn't feel like it's too short or shallow to where my thumb jams. So that is nice. As well as the finger width uh, is perfect. So it's not too wide, not too narrow. And I don't feel like my hand scoots around on the inside of the hand compartment, especially for a 16 ounce glove. Uh, let's go ahead and do the, Vel the Velcro system. You'll notice that this inside right here on the thumb side of the glove is kind of tapered outward. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Velcro. We have that crisscrossing pattern with that. And it definitely feels nice and secure. Again, you can see that this large strap kind of comes up and tapers up. And it kind of reminds me of the Rival gloves where it has that tapered strap that kind of comes up a little bit higher on the wrist section. Um, the other thing I noticed too with this, and I'm not too sure if this is a, gonna be a big issue, uh, especially if you decide to spar with these gloves, is that you have a little bit of excess with the Velcro on both sides. So if you really wanna make this tight, you'll notice that the tab at the end of this Velcro strap kind of sticks out a little bit on both sides. Um, that right there can definitely be an issue if you're gonna use these for sparring, because right here is the scratchy side of the Velcro that can end up scraping your sparring partner. Would have been nice if they extended the Velcro out a little bit further so that when you wrap it around, it just sticks closed rather than it popping out. And the same thing on this side, is they should have had a little bit of extra Velcro right here 
so that when you do wrap it around and you tighten it down for people like me that have skinnier forearms and wrists, that it stays completely down rather than it kind of flaring out. But the right glove definitely feels good. Let's go ahead and put the, the left glove. The left glove feels good. Let's take, put the right glove on real quick. Take that card out. And yeah, the right glove feels good as well. Uh, you can see putting on the straps, it's not a problem with one hand that's already gloved up. So I can put that on when there are issues. Again, just don't like how that looks with that extra strap just kind of sticking out like that. It would have been again, again, nice if they just put some kind of Velcro there to keep those tabs down. But again, just like the left glove, the wrist support definitely feels really good. Um, the finger compartment is perfect. The thumb feels good as well. Um, I feel like the piping on the thumb on this one is a tad looser, not by much but I can definitely feel it with my thumb. Maybe it's my thumb that's fatter. Maybe it's not the gloves, but in terms of my initial impressions, like with just the hand ergonomics, the liner feels comfortable, the positioning of my hand, the size of the hand compartment, this is definitely um, more comfortable than any of the other uh, Reyes training gloves uh, I've used in the past. Definitely more comfortable than the high precision gloves, which were definitely too tight, especially around the thumb. Maybe Reyes, took some feedback from those gloves and implemented uh, a better ergonomic system. They tried these out on several of their fighters and their boxers to kind of get feedback. But I definitely feel this is a huge step in the right direction in terms of just having a much more comfortable glove but still has the same traditional Reyes leather and, and just quality overall that you would expect from Cleto Reyes. So definitely interested on how these perform. I'll be using these in the next coming weeks. It's part of my rotation when I train. Um, and then I'll be doing a review afterwards to let you guys know how I feel about these gloves. So, so if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Klepto Reyes Hero double loop boxing gloves. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.